Hello everyone, Pockets here. Today we're going to take a look at Battletech. Uh, this game, I'm really excited to have this game. Uh, it's been a long time coming. I've been waiting for a really good mech strategy game since Front Mission, last one I ever played. Back on, I think that was on the regular PlayStation. And yeah, so we're looking to get right into this. I have played a bit of the campaign already, but we are going to start a fresh campaign here with today. Uh, just for YouTube, and hopefully avoid some of the mistakes that I made in my first playthrough, or my first play. Uh, probably not, make them again, but let's get into it. Uh, we are going to do the storyline stuff, and all of that, but I'm not going to just beeline for the storyline. We'll probably do some side missions as well to build up money, and all that good stuff. So, hold on tight. Now, hopefully if you're new, this will be sort of a good indicator of what Battletech is like. If you're not new and you see me do a bunch of things I shouldn't, be sure to let me know that I did it wrong, but more importantly, how to do it right in the future. And that can all happen in the comments down below. Now let's get into it. New game. I am Kamea of House Arano, High Lady of the Oregon Reach, Protector of Coromadir and the Sword of Restoration. But I am not a hero, no matter what the stories say. A hero would have sacrificed more, compromised less. A hero would have done better. You know this, of course. You were there. My father used to tell me stories about the ancient times, about the Star League, a golden age of prosperity, upheld by the great mech warriors of old, guardians of the innocent, protectors of the peace. I always dreamed of following in their footsteps. I was too young to see the truth of things. After all, it wasn't heroism or a noble cause that won me the throne. It was hiring a mercenary, skilled enough, perhaps ruthless enough, to carry the day. Hiring you. I still don't know if you fought for honor or for the thrill of it, for belief in my cause, or just in my money. But whether it was your noble heart or mercenary mind, your actions gave us hope. That makes you a hero in the eyes of history. Whether you believe it, that's up to you. Okay, so good. Good soundtrack. Art is amazing, as you just saw. So a lot of the stuff like this I will read. Anything that's in like cutscenes, I'm just going to let it play. And yeah, we're going to have a good time. Uh, each video is going to be as long as feels right. So if 20 minutes feels like a good stopping place, that's where we'll stop. If it takes two hours, well, maybe we'll break it into a couple pieces, but probably not. So let's get into it. We're going to create our character, and we're going to get started. So the Oregon Reach is a small kingdom in the Rimworld periphery, a region of space that lies at the outskirts of the more densely colonized inner sphere. It is home to the Oregon Coalition, a federation organized around a parliamentary monarchy and ruled by the Arano family. For three generations, under the rule of House Arano, the o Oregon Coalition has remained a relatively peaceful corner of the periphery. It is here your story begins. Ominous. Uh, we're not going to go through and read each of these. We can kind of look at the first paragraph. It kind of tells you what kind of people come from them. Um, my Battletech, uh, my, my introduction to Battletech was playing the tabletop game in like the early 90s, early to mid 90s when I was like a young teenager. And so I don't, some of the names were recognizable, like kind of like Steiner. Some of these things I do recognize from places, but couldn't tell you what they actually are. So we're just going to go with it. Uh, the Draconis Commune, mech warriors who hail from the Combine, or oh, Combine, not Commune, read the right word. Uh, Combine tend to be fierce, disciplined, and relentless, fi relentless fighters no matter the odds they might face on the battlefield. Uh, mech warriors 
who hail from the Free Worlds League tend to be passionate, enduring fighters who value justice and equality above all. Federated Sons, Davion. Mech warriors who hail from Federated Sons tend to possess more finely honed skills and better equipment than their counterparts. That sounds fun. From other regions of space, they often see themselves as righteous warriors and champions of liberty, sometimes to a fault. That's kind of me, paladin -y, you know, that type of thing. Mech who hail from the Lyrian Commonwealth tend to be hardy, well-equipped, and well-trained, though they also have earned a reputation not being particular strategic thinkers on the battlefield. Yeah, I think we're just going to go with Federated Sons. That's just me. And let's get into it. Okay. So, you are of noble birth. Though, Im though immigrants to the Oregon, Re Oregon Reach, your family soon established a comfortable presence in a small backwater system at the edge of the Oregon space. By the time you were born, your family had become the de facto ruling nobility of the system's only inhabited planet. You were the oldest child heir to the family's titles and ancestral battle mech, an old Blackjack BJ-1. Uh, Blackjack is the mech you get, it seems to be, regardless of which of the first ones you pick, you always get a Blackjack at the start, and that's fine. It's a good little boat. Boat, mech, same thing. This is where you meet Raju Mastiff Montgomery, a veteran of the Succession Wars, whom your parents hired on for a season to train you as a mech warrior. Raju was a strict but capable leader, and you quickly became a skilled pilot under his tutelage. It was an uneventful life, dot dot dot. Guess what that means. Until the day after your 16th birthday when, and this is where we get a choice. Now here, the choice will actually affect stuff. I'm not sure what the first choice affects. It might be some back-end political stuff that you might be able to deal with. I don't know. But here we get some skills. And I kind of know what I want my main guy to be, so we're looking at like gunnery and guts, but we'll take a look. So until you were exiled, you struck it on your own, gives you piloting and tactics. Family went bankrupt, gives you tactics and guts. Family died in an accident, piloting and guts. And your family was betrayed. So we get guts and gunnery. This is perfect right here. This is what we're looking for. Uh, your family was betrayed at its seat of power destroyed. You defeated the betrayers, but you were the sole surviving member of your house. With nothing but your family's ancestral blackjack left to call your own, you set off to make a new life for yourself. Out on your own, you fell into a life of, and here, so again, I kind of want to lean towards gunnery or guts, we get one. If we can find, so gunnery here, if we do an Oregon Coalition Soldier, that's interesting. Be a Frontier Pirate, Frontier Pirate, gives us a plus one guts, so either one of these two will work for us. Uh, Solaris Gladiator, plus one gunnery. Inner Sphere Mercenary for plus one tactics, Frontier Freelancer for one tactics, and one piloting. So we can either be a we can be a Solaris Gladiator, a pirate, or a soldier. And I'm thinking I might like the extra guts. So we probably go with pirate. So let's go ahead with Frontier Pirate. So tired of living under the authority of others, you fell in with a local pirate gang in the Rimworld periphery. It was an unruly crew, but an effective one. Roaming the periphery afforded your, your outfit with a steady supply of poorly defended merchant caravans and supply depots to prey upon. Doesn't quite sound like our previous, but that's okay. While raids did occasionally develop, devolve into combat, you quickly learned that successful pirate piracy in most, is mostly about being in the right place at the right time with the right threats and a good show of force. I actually don't like that. So let's go with gunnery. Let's go with gladiator. I like the symbol, so that's what we'll do. You took your skills as a mech warrior to the famed arena planet of Solaris 7. There you eked out a, life, a living as a gladiator, fighting for the crowd of minor in a minor arenas, getting by from paycheck to paycheck. Okay, so a lot of times, while I will be trying to min-max things, there's also going to be things where I just don't like how it feels, so I won't do it. Or vice versa. Until years later, you cross paths with Raju Mastiff Montgomery once again. Old man. You were a low-level champion down on your luck, and one bad fight away from the gutter, until Reggie heard about you. He trekked all the way to Solaris to offer you passage back to the Oregon Reach, and a job in the house of Rano Royal Guard. So it is that you find yourself reunited with your old mentor, preparing your ancestral battle check for guard duty on the coronation day of Lady Kamea Arano. So, 
One thing I forgot to mention, if you're playing this yourself, you can actually hover over the yellow text and get more details about what these things are, like Solaris is uh, famous for its Battletech gladiator fights known as the Solaris Games. These fights are broadcast through the inner sphere, blah, 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 blah. Uh, the other note is Kamea is roughly the same shape as my friend Kiyome, so I'm going to stumble over this word a few times as well. Just have to bear with it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, call sign. Well, I know what that is. And we're going to go with Cal. Cal? Or, yeah, we'll do the full one. Uh, these are just names I use, so I'm just going to... Whoops, row. There. And we are going to be he, sh the, or she. We can go he. I don't care that they put they in there. They in there as an option. I would rather not discuss... It just doesn't bother me. We can leave it at that. Um, if things get heated in the comments like I've seen in other areas. I will be deleting those comments, so let's just leave that be and move on. We will be he. Let's put that out there. All right, let's find someone that looks like he might, that's kind of, this guy here looks like the monk from Diablo 3. Yeah, that guy could work. Yeah, let's go with this guy, and we'll start there. Do I stay bald? Let's stay bald. I like the scar too. Actually, you know what, I like everything about him. He's even got blue eyes, so it's perfect. Cool. Save that picture. And let's keep going. So we are Pockets, Keltoran Row, make sure the spelling is right, pronoun he, gunnery, piloting, tactic, and guts. That's not too bad. This gets us pretty close. Decades ago, your family came to the Oregon Reach from the Federated Sons. The day after your 16th birthday, your family was betrayed and murdered. Out on your own, you fell into a life of a Solaris gladiator. There we go. End of the game. All right, here we go. I refuse to talk over those cutscenes. I'm just gonna let them play out. They're just, they're so well done. I really like them. They really uh, are my style. Let's begin mission. Command interface initiated. All right, so we are gonna do the full tutorial. I'm, I'll try and do it in one video. It might take us two, we'll see how things go. I will, even though it pops up here, I'm not going to read these. I will kind of explain things in my own words as I understand them because the tutorial does leave some holes, I find. So we're going to go for it. So just moving the camera, A, A, W, A, S, D. I can't do the edge scrolling for the most part. I can do it here, but I can't do it on this side because I have two monitors. Uh, so right mouse button or Q and E to rotate. So I can just do that or I can hold the right mouse button and move it around. Okay, pockets. I had the Espinosa refit yards rush the repairs on your battle jack. Battle jack, I keep saying that, on your blackjack. Looks like it's all in one piece, but we should run some diagnostics on it just to be sure. Standard field tests, you know the drill. More importantly though, I want to tell you more about the job we brought you here to do. Now, do me a favor and get that battle mech moving. Let's see if there are any kinks in the actuators. So I will read those parts. All right, so we're in the initiative phase because we have enemies in the field, and these are our mech warriors. We have one. So we're gonna activate pockets. Say it, kid. I wasn't completely honest with you the other day. There's gonna be more to this job than escort duty. All right, so moving's pretty easy. You just take your cursor, click on move, tell them where to go. We can't go anywhere but here. Uh, basically, think of it as a hex system. You got these little pips you can move to. Very much like a board game or the tabletop game, as far as I remember it. <laughs> Though that was, you know, 20 years ago. 
I brought you here because there's something wrong in the capital. It's been too quiet since Hyde Lord Tamati's funeral, and I'm worried about Lady Kamea's safety, safety during her coronation procession. Anyway, looks like your actuators check out. Let's conduct a weapons test. Target one of those burnt out old urban mechs and open fire. All right. Like I was saying, I can't prove anything. But my gut tells me something's off. And a warrior trusts their instincts. You bet you, Mastiff. I agree. Something smells fishy. All right, so here we are. We're going to do an attack. You can see these red lines. Uh, when you're moving, you'll see various lines. There's be red ones like this. There's arc ones. We'll talk about all those as they come up. Uh, this means we can see and shoot at those mechs. So click the attack. We're going to click one of them. doesn't matter which. So you can see their puppet. This is kind of where they're... You can see where things are damaged. You got their armor and hit points. You can highlight over individual pieces to see, like, look at this. We hit him in the torso. He's exploded. That's simple. Over here, we have our hit percentage, 95%. How much damage we're going to do, each weapon. If you mouse over and hold, or don't hold, just hover over it. You get a sort of rundown of the bonuses and penalties. Uh, weapon action minus one is actually... It seems to be about the... Trying to words here. The difficulty to hit is minus one, not your ability to hit. So the plus five being orange means that it's actually harder, which is kind of affecting our 95% hit chance. And so on. At least that's how I understand it. Over here we have our mech stuff. So there's our silhouette. And we have our heat levels. So as we do things, like you can see I turn these off, the heat levels change. Uh, if it ever gets this line, you overheat and take some structure damage. If you fill it up, you shut down. So keep an eye on it. There are some other indicators we'll point out as they happen. And yes, yeah, so let's do this attack. So we're going to click on him. Yeah, that looks good, 95%. And if you watch up here, you can see where you're hitting. All weapons committed. Oh yeah, so everything destroyed. Except for a head and one leg and some back. Not a good way to salvage. Destroyed. Good shot, your guns are working. Or are in working order, at least. And we have a target dummy tank coming in. Friggin' tanks. I've been trading, training Lady Urano since she was 14 years old. She can be naive at times and proud. But I have no doubt that she'll be just an Wow, she'll be a just and effective ruler. It's on us to see her safely to Cordia City. I'll rest easier when she's in the capital with her cousin Victoria by her side. Lady Victoria? Well... She's only been training for under me for a single season, but she's already shaped herself into one of the strongest mech warriors I've ever seen. Reminds me of a lot of you. Truth be told. Thanks. Anyway, we should run a check on your targeting computer. See that drone over there? The one moving through the tree line? Put some herd on it for me, and then when it turns, take it out with rear angle shot. After it's down, we'll keep moving. Kamiya's like a daughter to me, and her late father, High Lord Tamati, was a good friend. All right, so here's one where it kind of is a little lacking on the information, but we can look at it. So here's the tank here. If we click on it, no, click on pockets first. Click on attacks. So we're going to attack this thing. Good good numbers over on the side. So here's one of the things. You got this red bracket right here. It kind of shows the area you're going to hit. So we can hit the front armor, either side, or the turret. And you can see the armor numbers. They're pretty high in some of them, like the front, like that. Not so much in the back. So we're obviously going to hit this area. It won't get to shot at the back where it's really weak. Fair enough. It's got tree cover, so 25% damage reduction against ranged attacks. It does not stack with guarded. Uh, it shows cover here, so it shows them both because it's telling you what they're covered in. Uh, same same information, basically. They're a training target. They're easier than other units in the field, and it's weak against melee attacks. So anytime you target something, you can see this. Uh, in the real game, you can right-click on things as well. Let's just shoot it and see what happens. We're going to be shooting into heavy armor, so let's do it. 95%. Heat is okay. Go. All weapons committed. All right, so you can see they kind of grayed out a bit where we've done some damage. Nothing into structure. Looks different. And he wheels away. No punches, but she's been a loyal companion to Kamea since they were kids. Aside from you, there's no one I'd rather have by my side in a fight. All right, so now we're going to shoot the back armor. Um, so there is no movement chevrons. We'll show you that when that does come up. If we click here, now you can see we did a little bit of damage in here. The armor is down, and we're going to be able to hit this back section. Uh, one hit there should punch through it and explode it, so let's give it a try. Heat is okay. Go. All weapons committed. There we go. 
So took out that back bit of armor there, and the structure, and took out the unit. Enemy unit destroyed. It's just things that aren't very well discussed in the tutorial, so I wanted to cover them. Nice shot. Now, I don't know how familiar you are with Oregon politics, but the Reach was badly shaken by the High Lord Tamati's death. It needs a smooth transfer of power, and Kamea belongs on the Cormorant throne. Go ahead and fire up the jump jets, kid. I want to see you descend this cliff face. Aim for that patch of ground over near the edge of the lake. Okay. Alright, so over here, the, obviously, you can see this is our mission objectives. They'll list them here. The cool thing is the icons kind of match. So you see it's like a plus sign in a hexagon. Get the same thing down here. So if it's not a position to move to, sometimes you won't have the hexagon, they'll just be pluses. And yeah, let's do this. He wants us to jump down there, so activate our jump jets. Heat's okay. And we'll just do it. So when you move, you can choose your facing. The nice thing about jump jets is you can face anywhere. You're, you're, you're doing a little turn to face whichever way he needs to. One of the advantages of jump jets uh, when you're moving, moving. Hang on. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Jump jets build a lot of heat. And that was more than your engine could handle. Head on into that water. We need to get you cooled off. Obviously scripted because I checked my heat before I moved. Um, yeah, so when you're moving, you can see here we're getting these chevrons. Uh, can't really see them. There's one there. You can kind of see it right below move. I have four right now because I jumped over. The more of these you have, the harder you are to hit. And then every time you get shot at and from other things, they can take them away until it's empty. So that's kind of like simulating you running across the battlefield. Um, the further you move also the harder it is to turn, but we'll show you that when we can actually move freely and not limited by the tutorial. So we're going to go into the water to cool off. Uh, warning, plasma leak detected, jump jets malfunction, jump jet systems damage, system inoperable until repaired. Oh, for the love of all the gods, this is what I get for insisting on a rush job. Not that I had much of a choice. The Espinosa refit yards were backlogged like you wouldn't believe. It looked like they were trying to process it every single royal guard mech in time for the coronation indeed there isn't any time to get your jump your jets replaced so we're going to have to make do without them go ahead and take that mech down that one with a melee attack i want to be sure nothing else is going to break down on your blackjack before we take it out on the cormorant road all right so it says up here you can press v to cycle through enemies so if i click on pockets and press v it'll select him there's multiple in range. It's basically your movement range. Uh, you can tell he's in range because you get this yellow bracket. Okay, so he's in a marsh stability damage bonus. He's guarded, so you can see that here. Uh, outside of the tutorial, when you click him, sometimes you'll have extra spots you can get to depending on where the guy's standing and your movement range. So you can select some angle to put your armor forward. What else? Uh, that's going to be it. So melee attacks do break things like... Um, they ignore evasive, so you run up and punch them, you don't get the evasive bonus. But let's go ahead and just take this guy out. There he goes, nice little, what are we going to do? A kick. Kicked him right in the chest, okay. Good hit, at least that's solid. Alright, one last test. I want you to take your blackjack up to sprint and evade my attack. Oh yeah, so here's where we can show you this. Alright. So it's going to make a sprint, so you can see here as we move it further away, we get more of those chevrons, or pips. Alright, so we're going to move in here. And you can see here, like, I can't turn. That's as far as I can go that way, and that's as far as I can go that way. If I back off and I go over here, I have much more freedom on where I face. Okay? So that's all really important when you're fighting. As well as facing and things like that, but we'll talk about that as we're playing and strategies and all that sort of thing. So you can see we have three, so we're going to be harder to hit. Oh, look, he missed us really important the evasive stuff congratulations pockets your black jacks as combat ready as it can be given the circumstances for what it's worth i hope that my suspicions turn out to be unfounded and we end the day having a good laugh but what a paranoid old man i've become if not then i know you'll be ready all right it's time to move out lady arano is waiting for us at the mech bay an impressive display sir raju of course this mech warrior was a student of yours. I'd expect them to know their way around a cockpit. And yeah, I think we'll try to finish 
the tutorial today. And we'll leave it there and we'll come back. Pockets, allow me to introduce Kamea Arano, the soon to be High Lady of the Oregon Coalition. Is Lady Victoria on this channel? For the time being, my father has summoned me to the Picton Docks. I have a fleet inspection and a tour of the family refit yards to preside over before the coronation. Behold the responsibilities of a noble daughter, a font of tedium that never runs dry. I know the feeling, cousin. By this time tomorrow, I'll be responsible for the entire reach. Give my best to your father and don't be late for the tourney. The gambling dens are already taking bets on how long it'll take me to cripple that customized monstrosity you pilot. Bold words, cousin, but the vic only victory they'll be celebrating is mine. You may be ascending the throne today, but my Kaga is more than a match for the for the family heirloom that you call a battle mech. And in the arena, I reign supreme. We'll see, cousin, we'll see. At any rate, I'll see you at the tourney grounds. Sir Raju, I'm ready to go when you are. Overland, along the Cormorant Road, as is the Arano tradition. Aye, Kamea. We'll get you there in one piece. Pockets falling behind me. And remember what I told you. Mission successful. Excellent. I remember the Oregon Reach of old, the time of the Great Expansion. I was just a boy then. Proudly we went forth, bringing the light of our coalition to so many systems. And for what? To see our great kingdom slowly waste away? Year after year, the Council deliberates while our economy falters and the wolves bay at every door, while covetous neighbors plot against us. Well, I say it can go no further. We are here today because if Lady Orano will not act, someone must. I know what I'm asking of you. You will face former comrades or even loved ones on the battlefield. I take up arms against my own niece. But remember, today we sacrifice so that tomorrow we can return our kingdom to its proper glory, to its proper strength. So should you fall tonight, know that you did so as true heroes of the Reach. To your stations, for the Directorate! All right, cool. Looks like there's going to be trouble. Let's go into the second half of the tutorial and finish this baby up. Command interface initiated. I'm going to miss this, Raju. The clarity of purpose that I feel in the cockpit of a battle mech. The simplicity of it. But there they are, just up ahead, the city gates. And my future, all laid out before me. Wait, what's that smoke? A guard post. One of the small ones that dot the roads leading into the capital but the emergency band's been quiet all morning. I haven't heard anything about any fire. This That's not good moment, news. And I don't like it. Kid, keep your head on a swivel and be ready for anything. Okay, so when you're not in combat, you kind of have free movement of your mechs. You can see here, I just go sprint mode. You don't have to, but you might as well, because you get some leeway once aye, battle aye. starts. And I'll show you that as we go here. We're gonna stay on the road for speed because mechs travel faster on roads, just like that. Some sort of explosion. Looks recent, too. Do you think it was an accident? No chance. See those scorch marks on the rubble? That's laser fire. We need to get you out of here, Kamea. Right now. Yes, I think you're right. There's a patrol of Royal Guard mechs up ahead. We should go to them. Ha, huh, friends. Whatever's happening here, I won't let it derail your coronation. Alright. People need you. Thank you. 
Raju. I will prove myself worthy of the faith you've placed in me. Of that, I have no doubt. Okay, so we keep running, and you'll see what happens here when we... Well, you won't actually see it that well, but we'll move Pockets next, because he's in front. Come here, I can come up behind him. Alright. I'm moving. So she's in a Kentaro, I'm in a Blackjack, and he's in a Centurion. It's just really nice mech in this game. Really like the look of them. Alright, we'll run down this road. Confirmed. Uh, nope, Pockets next. He's in the way. This slow ass mech. I'm moving out. So once you enter combat, that's when you get to the turn based mode, and it's actually pretty cool how they handle it. So we got lots of chevrons built up. And let's get you in here. Roger. That's probably a bad idea, but that's okay. Hail Mastiff. Hail Lady Arano. We were preparing for Lady Arano's coronation parade when we got word of the disturbance along the Cormorant Road. A guard post behind us was attacked, so Reju found evidence of laser fire. Is the road behind you clear? Aye, all the way down to the south gate. Lead the way, Sir Raju. We'll fall in behind you and cover your six. Tell me something, guardsman. If the road is clear, why is your battle mech damaged? Our mechs are overdue for maintenance, but that isn't important right now. We need to worry about Lady Arano's safety. Now, my lady, if you'll come with us. No, you're lying to us. It's my coronation day. No mech tech would have sent you out for parade duty in that condition. I am your sovereign, sir. You will tell me what happened here. Damn it, girl, we don't have time for this. Take them. Kill the old man and the mech warrior, but take Lady Orano alive. <gasps> Betrayal. Alright, so we've entered combat phase. You can see here we have initiative. They get to go first because they're jerks. The panther. Oh, punched. Punched the centurion. Smart, smart guy. Alright. So now it goes into this turn based mode. You got these combat phases, five, 1 through 5. Next, in this descending order. The faster your mech, the further up the track it gets to act giving you options of holding your turns. So if I hit reserve, you can see this is Mastiff right here. If I reserve, he falls down to tier three. Uh, the red ones are, the enemy actually can't really see them. They're a little faded in. But if you look down here, you can see in phase four, this guy's already gone because he's got a dark number. This guy's got a light number, so he hasn't gone yet. You can also see it if you right click right here. Silver, grayed out. Silver, silver, silver and so on down the line. So, let's take a look at this mech. Panther, oh, he's all gray. He's pretty weak in the center torso. So let's uh, see what we can do. Talk to me. So we punch him for 70. We're in range. 70 should uh, just about take him out. Not quite. And 40, we could laser him to death, but we might hit other things. So we're gonna try punching him now. You can see here we have melee damage. We can attack from here. So if I click it, this is what I was telling you. Uh, nope, not like that. Uh, move. Click on like this. Yeah, right there. So you can see here, but we only have the one option, so we're just going to straight up punch him. And see what happens. His punches hit the center torso. To hell with the weapon. Nope, it doesn't just hit the center torso. Okay. That was my mistake. That's okay. We managed to do take off an arm, which is good. With some weapons less. There's a centurion taking a beating from the side. Alright into the thick of it now. My turn. So now that we're here, you can see I have this and he has his. We'd alternate. So if he had another one, I'd go and then he'd go. We have pockets in here. We're going to move you up to here. So you can see I was talking about the red line. So I can see see and shoot at both mechs. If I click once, if I don't actually click, I can hover over and see my hit percentages on the various mechs. So my AC2 is going to hit him a lot more than it's going to hit him uh, due to range. So let's try to get in closer. We can't. What do we have? 65s and 80s. Let's do it. So we'll move to here. And because they've, he's gone, we're going to get to move both of our mechs. And it's going to be wonderful. I'll take this, try to take this guy out. So now we're hitting on this side. He's already missing this arm, so it's likely to punch through this torso into the center torso. So let's give it a go. I don't like these 65s, but our heat is low enough. We're just going to give her. Alright, torso destroyed. And destroyed center. Not bad at all. What do we have over here? Shadowhawk. No, that's yeah, Shadowhawk. Okay, but he's pretty weak. 
So you can see here, Ramshackle carries 25% of his normal armor because it's in bad state. And we need to make Kamea do a thing. So let's move her. See, so we can see here, but if you look, we're being cut off by the the rocks. If you see here, I've got an arcing one. That's for your LRMs, your long range missiles. Uh, basically, it's indirect fire because I can't see them myself, but one of my teammates can, I can shoot past. But we're gonna try to get an angle where we can shoot without hitting the rocks. 95% uh, with LRMs, that's the only thing that can reach. We're gonna do it. There's all sorts of things. This bottom bar is your stability, so as you take certain hits and do certain things, this builds up, and if it fills up, you fall over. Uh, we can do that right now. Uh, so you can see we're just kind of blasting in the front. If you could have gone around the side, it would have been better to kind of pound through one side. Copy that. That's okay. We'll just do this. See what we hit. Not bad. So here we could preserve him to let this guy come in, but we're not going to do that. Got my attention. Uh, 45. He has an LRM, but we're not going to use it. Let's. So you can see this green dot. Zoom in so you can actually see it. It's a little greener, that means there's cover. There's a couple other colors you can hit as well. We're going to come to the side. And I want at least one pip if I can get it. Two. One pip. Perfect. We're going to kind of turn. Let's. So he's hit that shoulder. So we're going to kind of turn as much as we can. Oh, it's face on. Can't turn enough. I was going to try to move this shoulder away from the target. That's okay. We'll probably do a pretty good damage here. Yeah, we'll turn off. We have 45% chance hits. We're going to turn it off so we don't waste ammo. Conserve some heat. And away we go. Yeah. Did we take out that arm? We did. That was a critical hit. That was a critical hit. Alright. His turn and then we get to go. So he's going to come up here and... Is he going to try to shoot? Yes he is. And we had that one evasion chevron so you'll see it disappear. There we go. So every time you get shot at you lose one. I'm losing armor. I know you're losing armor but at least you're losing it on the other side. All right, pockets. You're going to see if we get close. The ACs lose. So I click here. 65, 70. If I go here, you can see the ACs are much lower. So we don't want to go too hard, but we want to move. So, so we want at least one chevron. So we're going to have to do it. Uh, can we go up this way? No, we can't. We're kind of trapped in this hole here. That'll be okay. Uh, we can't do much about the side we're shooting on, but that's the side we want anyway. No, it's not. That's this side. So, we're not. He's kind of sheltered that side from us, but that's great. Let's attack him. This first fight isn't exactly hard. Take off that arm. Or something. Okay, well, Kamea can do it. Kamea can do it. Come on in. And you're going to go right up because you have short range missiles and lasers. Yeah, this is going to be a beautiful hit right here. I like short range Sounds missiles. I, one of the mechs I built has a lot of them, and it's so much fun. Uh, we're going to take off this because it's a waste. Just a good habit to get into. So you can see 80. Which is why the 90? Well, because target size and target moved. And we get plus one for the arm accuracy. That's why these ones are up because weapon and armor accuracy. Or arm accuracy. So here we go. A little bit of a bad angle, but that's fantastic. Thanks, game. Did we get him? Pierced through the armor. Knocked him down. So you can see that because I took his bar all the way up. So now that he's on the ground, we get free shots. I'll show you that in a second here. Unless he's clear. Nope. So Mastiff. So now, Orders. having a knockdown target is one of the ways you can get called shots. So you can see here if I click on it now with the attack. No, attack. Oh, you can't actually see him. Let's. Yeah, we'll do that. If we go here, in behind me. just to show you this. Yeah, moonwalking over. Not a problem. Show off. So when we click on him now, we get a second puppet, and this allows us to kind of pick a spot to hit. So, we have an 85% chance to hit with our AC-10, and it kind of has this default loadout. So 33% chance to hit center torso, and 1% chance to hit the head, and so on. If we click on it, you can see we're increasing the chances of some of the things to hit doesn't decrease this chance it just means we're more likely to hit the one we clicked on or the ones around it so this should just one shot them uh, we're not worried about salvage right now because it's the tutorials so there we go 
Static, come here. Static, come here, can you hear me? Alexander, we were just attacked. The Royal Guard, my own guardsmen, tried to take me prisoner. It's happening here too. The Royal Guard are killing one killing one another in the halls. Lord Karosasa's house guard just got gunned down in front of me. The Tourney Pavilion's a slaughterhouse. I won't let these seditionists, or whoever they are, steal my birthright. We need to rally every loyalist we can find to make a push on the capital. I'll take the throne by force if I must. Go to Ratura Township, to the armory. Your soldiers are using it as a rallying point. I heard Lord Decimus sent his host guard there a few minutes ago. Someone's here. I have to move. Rally what forces you can and meet me in the tourney grounds. Be safe. You heard him, Masta. Ratura Township. We'll go there. Rally our fighters and march on the southern gate with the army at our back. Kamea, I know that you and Lord you and Lord Madeira are friends, but we can't take what he told you on faith right now. We don't know who we can trust. In this case, we do. Alexander's been my closest friend and confidant for as long as I can remember. His loyalty is beyond question. I trust him with my life and yours. Now, take me to the armory. We betcha. As you command, lady. Traitors. Lady Kamea. And I fear this is only the beginning. Okay, so it says head to. Keep close and yeah. remember. So we'll take the road. Let's see what you can find, buddy. Copy that. So we didn't take very much damage. So that's good. Uh, oh. Got a new contact on my screen. We have some vehicles. 25 tons. These aren't going to be harder. One 35. All right. So we're going to finish up this move, and then we go into turn-based. So we're just going to go ahead and get some people into positions. Uh, pockets. You just go right there. Kamea. Stick in cover. We don't want you dying. I'll make it happen. Even though she's in like the best, the strong, one of the stronger mechs we have, but you know. Okay. So, they're going to act here and here. So what I'm going to do is I want to have them come up. So I'm going to reserve to bring Mastiff to turn to section three. Let these guys draw a little closer. Oh, a third vehicle. Ha <laughs> Okay. So now... Got my attention. Can we get a line on him? We can't. Can we get better here? That's going to be indirect, and it's missiles. We kind of don't want to shoot him with missiles. So let's, uh, well, let's try it. It's going to be indirect. We can't actually see what it is because it's not in range, so maybe what we'll actually do. Let's instead move here and make them come to us a little better. And we'll turn... It's the wrong side, but I'm just going to have to do it. Can't really get him anywhere else that's useful. So this is the shoulder that he's hurt on. Right here. Alright, Pockets, what can you do? Where can you go? Uh, oh no, we got a guard. We're going to do that. Actually, I can sensor lock. If we sensor lock this guy, I'll show you something. So sensor lock means that if he's within range, and there's like a... I'll show you the line. It takes away up to two chevrons and makes him visible so you can use indirect fire on him. It's also the only way to get the maximum range out of some of the weapons like LRMs and PPCs. It's the best you, you do that so you can shoot them further away. Okay, now Kamea. So you can see she gets indirect fire, so I'm going to move her keeper in cover. I'm going to turn her side on to that entrance as well. And we'll LRM over the, over the cliff. Just because. So there he is there. Uh, we're going to do 20 damage. So, not a lot, but I'm on maybe we'll get lucky. Put some damage on it, that's alright. Better than nothing. And I think pockets, you're just gonna have to... Oh, we can get a shot. It's not a great shot, but we can get it. So you can see here we're probably gonna have... Actually, it's not bad, AC-20s. It's uh, do you have any damage? No, but we're going to turn you kind of side on like that, just so that we don't have... So we can do some rolling armor. So if we start taking hits on one side, we can spin around the other way. That's two AC-20s. That's going to be pretty good. That might actually take him out. 50 damage. Engaging target. Yeah, good shot. And so this is it. There's all these little strategies, things like rolling armor and all that type of stuff. Um... You gotta really think about which which side's facing the enemy and which side you're shooting on. Ranges, heat, all of it. It's pretty much what I was hoping for. Um, 
once I know the game's not going to bug out mid-mission and I'm not going to lose, because that happened to me a lot in like um, other games where you lose stuff to bugs. Uh, we can actually, can we turn them? No, we can't turn them enough. Let's try this again. Can we move them maybe not quite so far? No, the cover is going to be worth more. So we'll just keep, that armor's not too bad anyway. We'll do that. Roger that. Let's see what we can do. Does he have, does he have, uh, he does have it. Multi-target. Is it going to be of use? Um, yeah, we might try a multi-target. AC 10 to 60 damage. So we're not going to punch through him. We could punch through that pretty decently. And we'll put the medium lasers. Actually, the LRM on him is the best. Okay. So we're going to hit multi-target. Now with this, it allows you to choose up to three targets and split your weapons among them. So we're going to do this guy and this guy because that's it. And then over here, you can see it says A. So everything on A is going to hit that guy. So we're going to switch this to B. So these three are going to hopefully pound through this guy. And then missiles on that guy. They're not going to do a whole lot, but let's try it anyway. Go. Oh, one shot. So the AC-10 was that would have been enough. Broke right through it because it has armor piercing and that sort of thing. And we did some serious damage to his armor. Now he gets to go. Or is there another one? Yeah, there's another vehicle right there. So they're going to get a shot. Ah, oh, that's not a problem. So yeah, he is getting a little bit worn out just in the armor department, but let's get pockets in for another shot, because he has an auto cannon. Auto cannons are wonderful. Kind of just turn you this much. That should be enough to put a side armor on. There we go. And shoot him. All weapons committed. There you go. All that armor gone. Vehicle's useless. Enemy unit destroyed. Okay, my turn again. Come here. I don't think you're going to be able to get in Stand range. By. So we're going to keep you kind of behind this cliff. Like this. And let's put... Doesn't matter. You're not going to get shot while you're there anyways. And then he'll go and then we'll start a new round. So he's going to drive up the road and then we're going to shoot him and he's going to explode. Uh, let's brace you. So they take less damage when they're braced, and less uh, less stability damage as well. Ooh, short range missiles and a lot of them. How you doing? Yeah, see this shoulder is starting to take a it's low low armor, so we're gonna have to turn them. So that's just what we will do. So we'll take mastiff and move them. So we got. Turn it. What if we did it here? Let's try that. Because there's cover here. There's one or two pips. We're going to go with the two pips. We'll probably kill them anyway. We're going to have pretty good shots with that. And that's going to put the wrong side. So we'll turn them like this. That shouldn't let them get in behind us too bad. And that puts this shoulder, this arm forward. But we're probably going to kill him here anyway. Uh, we won't shoot the missiles. I'm sure the AC-10 is just going to blast it anyway. This on Lasers are free other than heat, so might as well use them too. You were brave. I'll give you that. All right. So we have to keep moving. So now we get back into exiting combat turn, and we can just move forward. Let's start with pockets. Let's get him sprinted up here. See if he uncovers anything on sensors. No, it's all, it's a battlefield. Look at all the damage directs. Okay. Well, let's see here. We're going to take you, Mastiff, into this cover. Four, four chevrons. Affirmative. And we'll bring Kamea up as far as she can go here. Oh. Objective complete. Static. Kamea, do you read me? It's Espinosa, your uncle. Do you hear me? How's Espinosa is usurping the throne? Oh no. Can't be. My uncle? Victoria? Yeah, I just watched an Espinosa battle mech plow through an alley full of civilians. This is happening, and it's happening now. 
Your loyalists have fallen back to the Market District. That's where they're making their stand. What's left of the Royal Guard are doing their best, but there's something wrong with their battle mechs. Wait, what's that sound? Oh, gods! Oh, no. Alexander! Wiping out the city. Not good, people. All right, Kamea, let's finish your movement now. Thank you. Confirmed. Get to all the way. Oh, yeah, because you're kind of up on a hill there. Okay. Bad positioning. Didn't see it. Got to watch for that, too. Lots of little things. It's over, Kamea. Your ascendancy, the Arano legacy, all of it. Victoria, what have you done? You know, Kamea, for years, I loved you like a sister, but then my father helped me see it. Your family's complacency. What has done to the what what has done to the reach? Our nation dwindles like a dying star, and House Arano is to blame. My father offered you a path to glory. I'd have thought under your I would have fought under your banner proudly, served as your strong right hand. I was like a knife it was like a knife in the heart when you turned him away. Damn it, Victoria, I taught you better than this. You taught me lies. Kamea, for the love that I once bore you, I'm going to give you a chance to surrender. I'll even spare the old man and his mech warrior. If you stand down now. I don't want to see you hurt, but like you cannot be allowed to rule. Oh boy. Shit's hit the fan now. I'll see you hanged for this, Victoria. You and your father both. Do you hear me? You are traitors to the Reach, and I will fight you to the last. And you truly are a fool. I'll spare you in spite of yourself. But you've cost your royal escort, escort their lives. Oh no, don't make us dead. We're just following orders. Attention. It's okay, we'll make her dead. This is Lady Victoria Espinosa. Lady Arano is to be apprehended and taken alive by my command. Fail to follow these instructions, and you will have me to deal with. Oh boy. Okay, so what do we got? We got one, two, three mechs. We have a cicada, and a, two, a spider, and a locust. Okay. It's not so bad. Cicada's actually pretty cool. I don't have one. I never got one of these. I like these, like, armless mechs. I don't know. They're just, that's... Look at that thing. So cool. Like, the spider's cool, but it's got arms. Locust. Locust is a great little mech. See? Ah! Camera. Be weird. Could you be any weirder, camera? There's like obstacles, it's trying to sort of bump me around. There we go. Okay, screw it. Locust, you just, we'll show you later because we'll probably get one. All right, Mastiff, what are we going to do? Let's think. We need them to come in to us. Can we get up? Maybe we can get up behind. Let's see where you can go. So if we can come this way. Can we get a, oops, too far in, too far in, camera. Camera's a little wonky at times. I don't want to move them too close. I don't know. Let's, uh, tree cover. No chevrons. Tree cover, no chevrons. Tree here, but that's really close to that cicada. We can come around this side. Let's do it. Uh, and that's putting the wrong side forward. <laughs> of course it is. All right, so this is where I usually make the mistakes and start taking needless hits. There we go. We can do this. And then can I... Just a little. I don't want to hit too much, but there we go. Aye, aye. So it's more likely to hit us on the side that's less damaged. And let's see if maybe we can take out... I wonder who's first. Probably, well, either one of these mechs here is going to go first. They're both going to get to go. So, this one's low on armor. What do we got? Yeah, if we can take him in the center, that'd be nice. Let's do it. 85% um, with LRMs. We could split it, but I'd like to just get rid of one. So, let's full on this. And... go! Oh, wow. I did that, I wasn't 100% sure, like, the AC tank could have hit a shoulder, in which case we wouldn't have killed it, but AC-10 hit the center and wiped him out, so that's fine. There goes the, the spider, wow, he can fly. That's right. He did a death from above, which means he actually landed on me and did damage. Took a little bit of internal damage, nothing nothing we can't deal with. Uh, what do you got, Kamea? Yeah, you got SRMs, I want to see if we can get a better angle on this. Can we get into position that you can actually use it. Uh, I'd like to hit the light with it, but if we go here, uh, that's cover and three chevrons. LRMs, or LRMs, yeah, we're gonna just have to LRM this. We can't really get into position to get on this mech. 
So we're going to do that. I'm going to turn just slightly. Not too much. I don't want him getting in behind. There we go. Location and we'll at least put some damage on that cicada. This here is just exciting. SRMs are great. One of my favorites. You'll see. Uh, we could split, but we only have one gun that can reach anything, so there we go. I'll make it happen. Okay, okay, good. Some damage on that right side or left side. He's going to move now, though, so he's going to have some chevrons and stuff, so we may not be able to do that again. Sometimes the camera angle is a little annoying. Hello, you. Shooting at Mastiff. Okay, he's pretty tanked up. Alright, now it's my turn. Now, you are on the left side damaged already, so that's here. We could do that. Uh, can we get a good spot? That's going to be full on left side. That's not bad at all. Right here. So if we go there, we can... Or we can do that. We can probably take this mech out from the side like this. And we go here and have less chance because he moved. Let's go ahead and like actually take out this light because he's going to get to go before him and Mastiff will get to go before this guy. Yeah, let's do that. So we're going to move here. Just come on. Go like that. And with any luck, we'll take out this spider. Alright. Maybe we'll take out the legs. Or one of the legs. If you do destroy a leg, they fall. Yep, there he goes. Nice, nice. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Evasive gone, so he loses it. Because he fell over. And pilot injured. Okay. So not enough to kill him, he's still in it. He can stand up. He's just gonna move really slow. Attention, citizens of Coromadir 6. This is Lord Santiago Espinosa. With the unanimous support of the founding houses, I have assumed control of the Oregon Coalition. For your own protection, I urge you to remain calm and stay indoors until otherwise instructed. All hostile units, stand down, and you have my oath that you will not be harmed. Resist, and you will be fired. What a pompous jerk. My father placed his faith in that man. I gave him my trust. He was family. Alright, we're gonna stomp on this guy. I'm just gonna wipe him out. So we click him. We only have one spot we can go. We can't get around because there's stuff. Which is unfortunate because I'd like to turn to face this guy. We can go back. Can we not? No, we're still in cover because he's facing this way, so. That's okay. Stompy, stompy. That should kill him. Yep. Done. Since we're not getting salvage this time, I'm not too worried about it. This would net us one salvage for a spider. Alright. Yeah, he gets to go. I was kind of worried about that, but that's okay. We should be okay. Oh, in the back. That's less gooder. Ah, he couldn't hit us anyway. Alright, Pockets. You get in there. Can we blast this cicada? Can we get on his left side? It's over here, eh? So right now we're in the front. You can see the orange circle. If we can get around. Yeah, like that. That's going to hit his uh, left side. And we're just going to go... We'll go this way because he's more likely to come this way. If he doesn't die from this, which he should. Unless I miss... Because I didn't check the actual hit percentages. Yeah, it'll be okay. So yeah, you can see on the left side, we're going to basically just do it up. Not going to overheat. And boom. So any weapons, medium laser lost. There's a small laser and a medium laser left. Obviously not heavily armored. This is the tutorial. Can we get you on the left side? We can. Now, we're not going to be able to shoot their arms, but those SRMs are going to just wreck it. I accidentally way. put her face on because I'm too excited. You'll see. SRMs are the way to go. I'm telling you. Uh, we're going to turn the these off. And here we go. And fire. Confirmed. All those little bits. Those are miss little rockets. <laughs> Come here. Do you read me? Oops. 
Alexander, thank the gods. I thought I'd lost you when the bombs fell. You very nearly did, Kamea. The city is lost. We have to get off this planet, and we have to do it now. I can't abandon Koro, my dear. This is my home, my birthright. The battle's over, Kamea. Lord Madeira has the right of it. It's time for you to run. Escape from this madness and live to restore the coalition another day. You're... you're both right. My uncle is one. The reach is his. We'll mourn for it later. The both of us. For now, you need to move. I have a dropship raiding at Shepherd's Path. Shepherd's Pass. I'm on my way there right now. Hurry and meet me there, please. We're on our way. Alright. So it's about an hour, but this is the last bit. So we are going to finish it off and have the tutorial out of the way for tomorrow. Uh, can I just see what's going on now? Alright, it's our turn. There is a battle mech or something somewhere. Alright. Well, let's move anyway. Mastiff. Orders. Yeah, go and see. Oh, there they are right there. Okay, we have two tanks. Two vehicles. Alright. Nothing else in the way? What's that? There's something there, isn't there? Oh, that's line of sight. That's being blocked. That's what this is telling me. Okay, cool. So we're going to pop on over here. And we will take a shot probably at this guy. It's going to be LRMs, I guess. Or we could... Well... When does he move? He moves there. So let's actually reserve Mastiff. Reserving is good because it keeps up any evasive chevrons you've built up as well. So until you actually activate the unit, you keep them. He didn't have any, but that's okay. He's taking hits on the wrong side now. Holy smokes. Alright, Mastiff. Now we can see... Ah, yes. We're going to wreck him. I want to wreck it. Uh, two direct shots. Does he have split? He does. So we're going to try this. Uh, kind of need this side over now because that other arm is almost toast. So we're going to try to shelter it as much as we can. And again, I'm going a little more into the strategy for this game, this match than I need to. Mostly to show you what it's like because, well, you'll see. Uh, boom. We're going to do multi-shot A and B. And let's put these on B. Honestly, don't even probably need to put this on AB as well. I think the AC-10, as long as we don't miss, should wreck the Scorpion. See? Just like that. And then the rest over there should wreck that, that unit. We're very close to it. There we go. Hammered. Never stood a chance. Nope. Good shot. Alright, so now we're still in combat mode. It waits till the end to take us out of it if it's going to. So we have to head up over there. Okay. And when you're in combat mode, you can't actually activate more than one guy, which is cool. I mean, like you can when you're not in combat mode. Uh, you can brace. For good. And let's sprint. Since there are no enemies, we'll sprint you up here to get you ahead of Kamea. Awesome. Oh, it still has this operating in combat. Okay. Talk to me. I have a feeling we're going to find something out here. Let's. We're still in combat mode, so I'm not going to risk it. So we're going to go here. Moving we out. actually come up this way, but. I kind of wanted to scout this area with my sensors to see if there's anything hiding. This is your last chance, cousin. Don't make me order your death. Do whatever you must, betrayer. A headstrong fool to the end. Damn you for this. Captain Host, destroy them. Mastiff, my cousin, all of them leave no survivors. Ooh. As you command, my lady. There he is. So it's a good thing we didn't run now. What is he in? He's in a Wolverine, eh? He's got a bit of armor. He's not fully armored up. It's a pretty big mech. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. Wolverine. Right. So he's got an AC-5. He's got short-range missiles here. A medium laser somewhere. Right there. All the way. All right. Let's shoot. Can we not shoot? I want to attack him. I'll give him everything. Can I? Ugh. I want to fire at him. Why can't I fire at him? Because I can't see him. Or something. Okay, well. 
Alright, Wolverine, dude. Yeah, I know. And we're completely facing the right way, because it's this side. Okay. You're gonna regret that. He'd regret it more if you let me shoot him the first time. Tell me what you need. I need you. Oh, there's turrets too, eh? They're gonna go here, eh? Hmm. Now we have a dilemma. Turrets can be bad. What do we have for turrets? What do we got? Uh, they're pretty short range. Yeah, we should be okay. They probably can't shoot this far. <laughs> he says. Wishfully. Uh, let's actually maybe go this. We go to cover. Let's do pockets first. Let's do that. What do you got for cover, buddy? You got nothing. So let's go for maximum chevrons. Two to here. If I do that, he moved, eh? That's not a good hit at all. Yeah, see, four chevrons. Um, it's actually do come here first with her LRMs, maybe. Okay, let's try that. We can go maximum chevrons because let's see what happens. We don't get too too close. I think I can only use the LRMs on them. Uh, well, you know what? Let's do it. Not very good chances with the other guns, but it'll be something. I'm on it. Not very good chances then you to take away one of the chevrons for my guy to shoot him. That wasn't too bad. Wasn't too bad. Now, give you two. Roll your armor that way. And see if we get a little bit better shot. Yeah, a little bit better. I mean, 35% isn't great. Might actually can't split shots, never mind. Just need one good lucky hit. That's a couple of misses that didn't need to happen. Though they were likely. Structure exposed, loss evasive. Oh, good. That would have been useful the last time someone shot. But that's okay. Now Mastiff can get in there and do his business. Uh, if I just shoot. No, we gotta move. Gotta move this way. We're gonna have to get in range of those turrets, I think. We can split the shots, but we really need to take out this mech. That's incorrect, right? We don't want that. If I go here, yeah, that'll be good. And we'll split shot. We'll put one of the missiles on the, and that's his left side needs to stay out of the way. So we're gonna kind of roll him this way, right? Yes. And we'll split the RRM up to one of these turrets. Probably this one. A and B. Yeah. Put that to B. 90% across the board. Take him out. Jump jet destroyed. Okay. There goes the missiles. Probably actually break through that. Pretty close? No, not even close. Why does he get to go? He's moonwalking out. I'm right here, Joe. This is jump jets, you can see them. It's really cool. Ooh. This is the first hits the blackjack took. Alright, he is. How's he doing? He's unsteady. Maybe if Kamea hits him with some missiles, we can knock him down. Not gonna hit with those missiles from there. But the SRMs will hit, which will help. She hasn't taken much for hits, so we'll do that. We'll split the okay. long range off to that same turret again, just rather than waste it on this guy. Because we're not likely to hit anyway, and she has that ability. Okay. Oh, we're gonna overheat actually, so we're just gonna turn off the LRMs. Good point. So if we hit here, you can see it here. Pass that in, and you can see it flashing right here. Overheat. We turn that off. Not quite enough. Can we get rid of one of the lasers? Because I like. I want to try to knock them down. Both lasers. We'll just short range missile them. Sounds like a plan. I'm hoping that it's going to do enough to knock them down. Or kill them. Oh, love it. If you had any sense, you'd retreat. Yeah. Dum dum. Alright. Well, we didn't knock them down, but. We did certainly uh, give him the old one-two there. Uh, move here. No. Here was a better shot. Yeah. And you're okay, so you just stand face on. You can face tank those turrets. 
Uh, from that side, maybe we'll take down this Wolverine too. That'll be nice. Because we are hitting him in the side. We're not going to overheat. And this is going to likely take out a leg or the center torso. Either of which I'll be okay with. Probably both. There's a leg, so he'll fall. There's the torso, so he's dead. Nailed it. Now we got to take care of those stupid turrets. Oh, missed me. He got a little too close to the lasers. Oh, so did he. Good, good. Okay, so now we keep moving. Take out the turrets. Okay, Mastiff, now we need your left side forward. So running this way is going to be of actual benefit to us. Trim like that, because turrets can't get behind us. But, how are we going to hit them? 90%? Uh, 90%, yeah, we'll take out that first one. Like that. Confirmed. We did that right, yes? Yes, left side. Could split fire, but we're just gonna put it all on him, get him gone. All weapons are go. <laughs> AC 10 doing work. Target destroyed. Beautiful. Okay. And my turn again. Pockets with your two eight with your two AC twos. We're actually gonna bring you into cover here. One Chevron, or we can go to two and go for the miss. Let's go for two and go for the miss. Actually, what's that gonna give me? Oh yeah, beautiful. And and hit. The two two eight auto cannon should do it, but oh wow, there we go. Kaboom. Bye bye turret. And then we just get everybody in. We're in free move mode, so that's great. Pockets. We go ahead. I don't know, I turned them that way, just have it, I guess. Mastiff sprinting. So there, he can get it. Excellent. And Kamea. Kamea can't make it. She is a slow. Alright, so that should finish up the tutorial. We'll do the cutscene at the end here, which is awesome. And then. Call it. It's beautiful. Okay, there you go. Moving out. Oh, that was wrong. wrong guy. I'm on it. There we go. Thank the gods you made it, Kamea. Captain Halsvorsen. Halsvorsen is prepping the engine now. And in about fi another five minutes, we'll be ready to depart. Five minutes is a long time. Pockets, you see Lady Arena to the docking ramp. When she's aboard, come back to me. We'll hold this pass, whatever comes. Thank you both. I won't forget what you've done for me today. Better not. I promise you that. Your fault I'm gonna die. Or not. Can we get to it even? No, of course not. Uh, okay, she can't turn around either. Just go. Sounds good. I'm Just moving. go. Brace. There we go. I'm moving. <gasps> All units, advance. I want you to take down that dropship. Destroy everyone and everything that stands in your way. There's some stuff here. Look at this. What do we even have? All right, Pockets. I trained you for this. We'll fight side by side. Watch each other's backs. Above all else, keep Lady Arena, Lady Arano safe. Protect the dropship. It's all that matters. Warning. Engine heat critical. Warning. Error. Shutdown initiated. Error. Reactor offline. Weapons offline. Systems inoperable. Oh, goody. Trouble with your blackjack pockets? Shame. That's been happening to a lot of Royal Guard battle mechs lately. You have numbers on us, and you've, re and you've resorted to sabotage, and you're gloating about it. You've got no honor. You vicious little brat. Not you, nor your backstabbing father. Shut your mouth, old man. My father's a great man. And I swear to all the gods, you will suffer if you insult him again. Your father is a coward, and so are you. Pockets, I want you to eject. Now, punch out. You're no good to anybody in a broken mech, and I won't let you die today. But, eject, mech warrior. Now, that's an order. But I don't want to eject. This would have been a good spot for them to teach you how to eject, but I'll show you that later. Now, come to me, Victoria. Your teacher is waiting. 
come and show me what you've learned. This is Shmirish business. All right. So, easy there, Katorin. You took a cra nasty crack on the head when you punched out. Don't worry, you're safe now. My name is Darius Oliveira, and I am XO of Markham's Marauders. We're a mercenary outfit with ties to House Orano. We did some work for High Lord Tamati back, way back when. I'd introduce you to Commander Markham, but he was on a supply run in the Market District when the bombs fell. He, uh, well, he didn't make it. Uh, so we can pick one of these. It wasn't for your company. I'm sorry for your loss. Yeah, I am too. He was a good man. A lot of good people died today. We picked you up. We picked up your distress beacon on the emergency band as we were on our way off planet. After seeing what happened to Markham, I didn't feel right leaving you in the hands of the new directorate. We did a sweep of the combat site, grabbed your ejection pod, and ran. What about Mastiff? Sir Re Reju Montgomery, did you find him? Uh, yep. Let's do that. We found his mech. It was completely cored out. Nobody survives a hit like that. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. We supported the Royal Guard on a handful of deployments, and Sir Raju earned my respect many times over. His death is a loss for us all. What happens now? Don't care about the blackjack. Well, things aren't looking so hot around here, what with the coup and all. House Espinosa's directorate is the new de facto government in the Algori... Oregon Reach. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but Lady Orano is dead. Her dropship was destroyed on takeoff. It's all over. It's all over the news. <laughs> I'm gonna put well shit. Uh, damn, what a waste. Yeah, well shit. That's what I'd say. Our sentiments exactly. We're getting the hell out of Oregon territory. I've already booked transport to the first jump ship out. We're heading to a nice, quiet stretch of independent space, all the way across the frontier on the Can Canopian border. Not a cheap trip. But we'll worry about how we're, you're going to pay for it. How we're going to pay for it later. As for you, well, you've got options. According to your blood shit, you've got family out in Federated Suns. If you want, I could look into booking your transport on a freighter bound for Davion Space. I can't make any promises, but I'm willing to try. No way. I'll be down if I'm going to let the director chase me away. In that case, you could stay with us for the long haul. When we get where we're going, we can drop you at the nearest planet. Maybe you can make a place for yourself there. Of course, you'll need to pitch in for your share of the fuel, plus food, lodging, and repairs on your mech. Fair is fair after all. Hmm, sure. Alternatively, you could find yourself a place in the Marauders, if you wanted to. Wouldn't take you long to work off your debt. And you ran with Mastiffs, so I know you've got chops. Think it over. Sleep on it. You've had a hell of a day, and we've got a long road ahead. Beautiful. Three years later. <laughs> Taking some time to think about it. Alright, so that's where we're going to leave it. We're going to get to save it here before this next mission. I'm not going to click into it. It will leave it on this end screen of us making Planetfall. I uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I know it was a bit of a long video, but we're through it now and into the meat. 
So that's out of the way. If you stuck through it for the entire hour and a bit, thank you. I appreciate it. If you skip to the end to hear this, that is absolutely fine too. And we will see you in the next video when we do our first mission outside of the tutorial. I am having a lot of fun with this game. I'm looking forward to playing it so much more. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. Leave comments. Anything I did wrong. Any other tips down in the comment section below as always. If you're new and you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. And we'll catch you all next time. I'm out of here.